Hi, I'm Sakaya Blackburn at Sun Reed Instruments in the Center of Light. We're offering a series of videos on gongs just to help you distinguish in the many, many different types and choices of gongs, the sizes of gongs, tunings, and so forth. And I've already gone through the differences in wind gongs and chow gongs, and chow gongs and the more finished gongs such as the Paiste gongs. And here behind me I have now a Paiste and a Minor gong. This is a Paiste symphonic gong. It's a 26-inch gong. And all of the Paiste gongs are highly finished and have this beautiful luster to them. They're very well worked, but they're also worked in a way that brings out the voice qualities. And we, while we'd like to say the symphonic gongs are tuned, they're not. each one is not tuned to a specific pitch, whereas other gongs in the Paiste, the Minor, and other gong families are, and I'll speak more of that in just a moment. But they're, they're tuned in the way of refining the voice quality of them. They have a very coherent or quality voice, much richer, cleaner, and clearer sounds than in general than the chow gongs, the wind gongs, the other less expensive gongs. So there is something different about buying into this family of gongs. And it's very beneficial also to use a, a well-made soft mallet that will bring out the full rich voice of that gong. This is that Paiste symphonic gong. A very nice full bass tone, nice rich harmonics playing with it. These are both made in a similar way where they're just very highly refined and finished, bringing out very clear voice qualities. But the Mino gong in this particular case, this is a Mino Flower of Life gong. It's a 36 inch gong. And this is tuned to a specific pitch. In this, in this particular case, it's a C note in the second octave, so it's 64 hertz. And both of these families of gongs, the Paiste and Mino, have many different gongs that are tuned to specific frequencies, specific tunings. So if you're working with major tunings, tuned to 440 or 432 or other things, you can find a variety of different tunings to work with instruments that you already have, whether that's crystal balls or standard modern musical instruments, uh, pianos or something that you want to add specific voice quality to your music or to your sound practice. These are very rich and the gong family in general has a great ability to clarify and to expand. And in, in uh, another way also to, to really bring calmness to a meditative or healing practice, it just clears out the air. It clears out other resonance in our field and allows us to focus or just become more still or quiet while at the same time really resting in a great state of expansion, expansion or spaciousness as the sound of the gong brings us out in its vibrancy. Here is that minor gong. Very different qualities of sound, but both very refined. And different voice qualities because of the size variation, going from the 26 inch Paiste to the 36 inch minor. You can find any of these gongs that we're demonstrating in these various sizes. We're trying to demonstrate the difference in the type or quality of gong and the size as well. Here's the Paiste again. And the Mino. I hope that the multi-tones of this deep, rich sound of the Mino really come through. It's really beautiful to, to stand or rest in this field of sound. And it's very easy to create a mindful practice with these gongs, with any of them really. But I really like working with the refined gongs because it really allows me to go into um, a deeper state of awareness in my own experience with it. Having that very rich, very clear voice quality, it allows me to go into that very clear state very readily. And playing different areas of the gong can bring out different voice qualities. Certainly striking harder or softer can bring out uh, more vibrant sounds or more subtle sounds. And that's all part of the art of learning to, to work with the gongs. I'm going to play with the Paiste for just a few moments. And then I'll come over and play with the Minol as well. You might, it's, it might be wise to put on a set of headphones if you, if you have them and really 
playing through all the different instruments you're listening to. Headphones brings out the richest voice quality and allows you to go into uh, a more mindful state yourself if you wish to. You could do that right now, just resting, closing your eyes, just listening to the qualities of the sound and how they impact you or influence your inner awareness. Using your breath to work with the sound, bringing your breath in and letting it out as the sound comes in and expands. It's very easy to work with the nature of spaciousness with the gongs. Breathing into that inner place of awareness and allowing your awareness to expand out into open space as the sound of the gong penetrates you. Refine your listening skills to what sounds work best for you in your own practice. Learning to trust that inner ear as you rest in the voice of each gong. with the Peisty M5 mallet. We hope that this series of gong videos have helped you just to learn to distinguish the difference in the many choices of gongs that there are. But please feel free to call us. Visit us at sunread.com or call us in our, with our contact information. We'll be glad to speak with you and talk with you. Each of the gongs in our own series of gongs have sound files that you can listen to to really hear for yourself what voice qualities work best for you. We'll be glad to help. Thank you so much. Many blessings.